Picture this, Japan, the late 16th and early 17th century, a time of great turmoil and transformation. The samurai were at their zenith, revered and feared as the epitome of martial prowess. Among them, one name stood out, a name that has echoed down the ages, revered not just in Japan but worldwide, Miyamoto Musashi. A figure shrouded in both history and legend, a swordsman, a strategist, a philosopher, an artist, but above all, a samurai. Born in 1584, Musashi embarked on a warrior's journey that would lead him to become one of the most respected samurais of his time. He fought in over 60 duels and emerged undefeated, a testament to his unmatchable skill with the sword. His life was a relentless quest for mastery, a pursuit that went beyond martial prowess to encompass the deeper essence of strategy, philosophy and the very nature of existence. But Musashi was not merely a warrior. After a lifetime on the battlefield, he retreated to a life of solitude, dedicating his later years to refining and articulating his philosophy. His wisdom was not confined to the use of the sword, but permeated all aspects of life. He became a respected painter and calligrapher, expressing his philosophy through the stroke of a brush, just as he once had with the edge of a sword. The culmination of Musashi's wisdom is encapsulated in his seminal work, The Book of Five Rings. This text, considered a classic, is a profound reflection on strategy, martial arts and philosophy. Each of the five rings represents an element, earth, water, fire, wind and void, and a corresponding aspect of battle strategy and human nature. The Book of Five Rings is much more than a martial arts manual. It is a strategic guide to navigating challenges, both on and off the battlefield. It is a window into the mind of a master, providing timeless wisdom applicable in various aspects of life, from business and politics to personal development and beyond. Today we embark on a journey into the heart of Musashi's philosophy, exploring his timeless wisdom and its application in our modern world. From the heart of ancient Japan to the hustle and bustle of the 21st century, let's delve into the mind of the legendary samurai, Miyamoto Musashi. Our exploration begins with the core of Musashi's philosophy, the Five Rings. Each ring, symbolizing earth, water, fire, wind and void, represents a different aspect of Musashi's strategy and worldview. These are not just principles for combat, but metaphors for understanding the world and our place within it. First, the Earth Ring. For Musashi, the Earth Ring is the foundation, the grounding principle. It signifies the physical realm and the importance of understanding the lay of the land, both in literal and figurative terms. In a duel, this means assessing the terrain, your position and your opponents. In life, it means understanding your environment, your strengths and weaknesses, and the challenges you face. Musashi teaches us to be observant, to ground ourselves in reality, and to make decisions based on a clear understanding of our circumstances. The water ring comes next. Fluid and adaptable, water symbolizes flexibility in Musashi's philosophy. Just as water flows around obstacles, Musashi encourages us to be adaptable in the face of adversity, to find our way around obstacles rather than confronting them head-on. In combat, this means adjusting your tactics to respond to your opponent's moves. In life, it means being open to new ideas, adapting to change, and finding creative solutions to problems. The fire ring represents the aggressive, dynamic aspect of Musashi's strategy. Fire symbolizes energy, passion, and the drive to take initiative. In battle, it signifies the spirit of offense, of seizing the initiative and pressing the attack. In life, it represents our ambitions, our drive to achieve goals, and our courage to take action. Fire urges us not to be passive spectators, but active participants in shaping our destinies. Then we have the wind ring. Wind is elusive and hard to predict, symbolizing the need to understand the larger context and the forces beyond our control. In a duel, it represents understanding your opponent's style and strategy. 
In life it means appreciating the broader social, cultural and economic forces that shape our world. The Wind Ring encourages us to look beyond our immediate surroundings and consider the larger picture. Finally, the Void Ring. The most abstract of the rings, the Void represents the realm of the spirit, the mind and the essence of things that cannot be seen or touched. In combat, it represents the psychological aspect, the ability to intuit your opponent's intentions, to see the unseen. In life it speaks to our inner world, our thoughts, emotions and the intangible factors that shape our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The Void Ring reminds us that not everything can be explained or understood through logic and reason alone. Through these five rings, Musashi presents a holistic philosophy that encompasses physical reality, adaptability, initiative, understanding and intuition. But how do we apply these concepts to our modern lives? How can the wisdom of a 17th century samurai guide us in the 21st century? Stay with us as we delve deeper into each ring and uncover the timeless wisdom of Miyamoto Musashi. The Earth Ring We begin our journey into the heart of Musashi's philosophy with the Earth Ring. As we've mentioned, the Earth Ring represents the physical world, the terrain in which we navigate both in battle and in life. But what does this mean in practice? Musashi emphasized the importance of understanding the terrain in a duel. This includes the literal physical environment, such as the ground beneath your feet, the position of the sun, or any obstacles that might hinder or aid your movement. This kind of awareness could mean the difference between victory and defeat. But Musashi's concept of terrain goes beyond the physical. He also meant understanding the broader context of the battle. This includes knowing your opponent's strengths and weaknesses, their likely tactics, and their mental state. It's akin to a chess player studying the board, considering both their own pieces and those of their opponent, planning several moves ahead. So how does the Earth Ring apply to our lives today? In the modern world, the terrain might be the business market for an entrepreneur, the political landscape for a politician, or the social dynamics within a group or community. Understanding this terrain is crucial to navigate effectively and make informed decisions. For instance, consider an entrepreneur planning to launch a new product. They must understand their market terrain, the needs and desires of potential customers, the strengths and weaknesses of competitors, the opportunities and threats in the market environment. This understanding forms the bedrock on which they build their business strategy. But it's not just in business. A teacher, for instance, needs to understand the terrain of their classroom, the abilities, interests and challenges of each student, the resources available, the curriculum requirements. In personal life, understanding your terrain might mean being aware of your strengths and weaknesses, your values and goals, the opportunities and obstacles you face. Musashi's Earth Ring, therefore, teaches us a fundamental principle. Understand your terrain. Know your environment, your context, your challenges and resources. Only then can you plan and act effectively, whether you're wielding a samurai sword, launching a business, teaching a class, or simply navigating the complexities of everyday life. From the solidity of Earth, we now move to the fluidity of water, the second of Musashi's five rings, if Earth encourages us to understand and adapt to our environment, water calls us to be flexible, adaptable and flowing in our actions and strategies. In nature, water finds its path around, over or through any obstacle it encounters. It adapts to the shape of the container it's in, and it can wear away even the hardest stone over time. Musashi saw this adaptability as a key principle in combat. In a duel, a samurai cannot be rigid in his strategy. He must be ready to adapt to his opponent's moves, changing his stance or tactics as the situation demands. Musashi himself was known for his unpredictable and unconventional style, often catching his adversaries off guard. In our daily lives, we often face unexpected challenges or changes, a sudden shift in the market, a new policy at work, an unforeseen personal circumstance. The Watering's philosophy reminds us to be like water, flexible, adaptable, capable of flowing with change rather than resisting it. For example, 
Imagine a project manager facing unexpected setbacks. Perhaps a key team member falls ill, or a crucial shipment is delayed. Instead of panicking or insisting on the original plan, they could apply the water rings philosophy, adapting the project plan, reallocating resources, or finding alternative solutions. But it's not just in the workplace. The water rings philosophy can also guide us in our personal lives. Whether it's adapting to a new city after a move, navigating the challenges of parenthood, or adjusting our goals in the face of new opportunities or constraints, being like water enables us to cope with change and uncertainty. So the wisdom of the water ring is this. Be adaptable. Be ready to change course when necessary, to find a way around obstacles, to flow with the currents of life rather than against them. And remember, like water wearing away stone, persistence and adaptability can overcome even the toughest challenges. From the adaptability of water, we now turn to the intensity of fire, the third of Musashi's five rings. The fire ring encapsulates the spirit of initiative, of decisive action and fierce determination. It embodies the energy that propels us forward and fuels our ambition. In combat, the fire ring represented the courage to seize the initiative, to attack rather than merely defend. Musashi understood that waiting passively could often lead to defeat. Instead, a samurai must be ready to strike decisively, to take control of the battle, to dictate the pace and rhythm of the fight. Musashi's duels were characterized by his bold, aggressive style. He didn't simply react to his opponent's attacks, he took the initiative, forcing them to respond to him. His proactive approach often gave him the upper hand, even against highly skilled adversaries. But how does the Fire Ring's philosophy translate into our modern world, far removed from the samurai duels of feudal Japan? In our lives, the Fire Ring's philosophy can inspire us to take the initiative, to act decisively, to step up and lead. Whether it's pursuing a career goal, driving a community project, or making a difficult personal decision, the Fire Ring encourages us to take charge and shape our own path. Consider a team leader in a company. Instead of simply reacting to problems as they arise, they could embrace the Fire Ring's philosophy, proactively identifying potential issues, driving innovation, and guiding their team towards shared goals. But the Fire Ring's philosophy extends beyond the workplace. In our personal lives, it might mean taking the initiative to improve our health, pursue a new hobby, or address a challenging relationship. The Fire Ring urges us not to wait for things to happen, but to make them happen. So, the wisdom of the Fire Ring is this. Don't be a passive spectator in your own life. Take the initiative, act decisively, pursue your ambitions with energy and determination. And remember, as Musashi himself put it, there is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. As we delve deeper into Musashi's five rings, let the fire ring ignite your spirit of initiative and drive. Embrace the energy of fire and let it guide your actions and decisions. The wind ring. From the intensity of fire, we now transition to the subtlety of wind, the fourth of Musashi's five rings. The wind ring represents the importance of understanding context and the dynamics beyond our immediate control. It captures the need for broader awareness, sensitivity to changes, and strategic foresight. In the battlefield, the wind ring was about understanding the unique style of one's adversary. It was about discerning patterns, anticipating moves, and seeing the broader dynamics at play. Musashi knew that each duelist had their own style, their own wind, and understanding this was key to outmaneuvering them. Musashi excelled at reading his opponents, predicting their tactics, and turning their own wind against them. He saw beyond the immediate clash of swords, understanding the underlying patterns and strategies, but what does the Wind Ring's philosophy mean for us in today's world, far from the dueling grounds of Musashi's era? In our modern lives, the Wind Ring's philosophy can guide us to appreciate the broader context, 
the winds that influence our lives. These winds could be social trends, economic factors, political shifts, or technological changes. Understanding these winds helps us navigate more effectively, make better decisions, and anticipate future developments. For instance, a business leader could apply the wind rings philosophy by understanding the winds in their industry. Emerging trends, competitive dynamics, regulatory changes, technological advancements. This understanding enables them to steer their company more effectively, to anticipate opportunities and threats, and to adapt their strategies accordingly. But it's not just in business. In our personal lives, understanding our wins might mean being aware of the societal trends that affect us, the economic factors that influence our financial decisions, or the personal dynamics that shape our relationships. The wind ring reminds us to look beyond our immediate circumstances and consider the bigger picture. So the wisdom of the wind ring is this. Understand your winds. Be aware of the broader context, the underlying dynamics, the forces beyond your immediate control. And remember, as Musashi wrote, perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. As we continue our journey through Musashi's five rings, let the wind ring broaden your perspective and enhance your strategic foresight. Embrace the subtlety of wind and let it inform your understanding and decisions. The Void Ring From the subtlety of wind, we now enter the mystery of the void, the fifth and final of Musashi's five rings. The Void Ring represents the realm of the unseen, the unspoken, the unknown. It encompasses the intuition, the spiritual dimension and the transcendence beyond the physical world. In Musashi's philosophy, the Void Ring was about going beyond techniques, strategies and styles, transcending them to attain a higher level of understanding. It was about the intuition that guides a samurai in the heat of battle, the inner strength that sustains them and the spiritual insight that elevates their art. Musashi saw the Void as the culmination of a samurai's journey the point at which they transcend mere technique and become one with their art. It is a state of no-mindedness, where actions flow naturally and effortlessly, guided by intuition and attuned to the rhythm of the universe. But how does the Void Ring's philosophy find resonance in our modern world, far removed from the spiritual practices of samurai warriors? In our daily lives, the Void Ring's philosophy can guide us to cultivate our intuition, to tap into our inner resources, and to seek a deeper understanding beyond surface appearances. Whether it's trusting our gut feeling in a crucial decision, drawing on inner strength in times of adversity, or seeking spiritual growth, the Void Ring encourages us to transcend the physical and material realms. Imagine a musician in the midst of a performance, Beyond the techniques and the notes, there's a point where they transcend the physical aspects of their art, entering a state of flow. This is the void ring in action, a state of no-mindedness, where actions and reactions occur naturally and effortlessly. But it's not just in art or music. In any profession, in any aspect of life, we can experience moments of flow where we are fully immersed, where our actions align with our deepest values and insights. This is the essence of the Void Ring, a state of harmony, intuition and transcendence. Go beyond the surface, tap into your intuition, seek a deeper understanding. And remember, as Musashi wrote, in the Void is virtue and no evil. Wisdom has existence, principle has existence, the way has existence, spirit is nothingness. Let the Void Ring inspire you to seek the unseen, to trust your intuition and to transcend the physical world. Embrace the mystery of the void and let it guide you to a deeper understanding and a richer life. As we bring our exploration of Miyamoto Musashi's philosophy to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the key points we've journeyed through. We started with an understanding of the five rings, each embodying a different element and corresponding strategy. The earth ring grounded us in the fundamentals of strategy and the importance of understanding the terrain while the water ring flowed into the adaptability and fluidity needed to navigate life's challenges. The fire ring blazed with the concept of aggressive, swift action and the need to seize the moment. 
the wind ring swept us into an understanding of the importance of learning from others and remaining aware of wider trends and movements. The void ring, the final one, encapsulated the profound understanding of the nature of reality and the importance of intuition. We delved into the modern applications of Musashi's philosophy, observing its relevance not just in martial arts or military strategy, but in domains as varied as business, personal development, negotiation, and even arts. The timeless wisdom embedded in Musashi's teachings guides us in strategic thinking, disciplined action, and continuous learning, principles crucial for success in today's rapidly changing world. The unique blend of practicality, focus on individual growth and grounding in personal experience sets Musashi's philosophy apart from both Western and Eastern philosophies. It underscores the importance of lived experience, pragmatism and the relentless pursuit of mastery. As we conclude, we encourage you, our viewers, to apply the principles of Musashi's philosophy in your own lives. Whether it's employing strategic thinking in business, adopting a disciplined approach to personal growth, or simply learning to be more adaptable and present in the moment, there's much to be gleaned from Musashi's wisdom. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and the way of strategy is a path of continuous learning and self-improvement. May the wisdom of the five rings guide you on your journey towards mastery in your chosen field.